Social science. Lesson two, don't trust your government. Lesson one, don't trust your government. Governments will use whatever technology is available to them to combat their primary enemy, which is their own population. If aliens aren't real or time travel is not possible, then who are they, what are they and why are they present here, here and here? Nursery horror. More than 100 families warned by cops about sex assault of multiple children at Jack and Jill Nursery. More than 100 families have been warned by cops following allegations multiple children were sexually abused at a Devon nursery. Police trawled 250 hours of CCTV at Jack and Jill childcare in Torquay and believe a number of youngsters aged two and over have, may have been assaulted. One person has been arrested and released on bail following the allegation. Hmm. That's right new. Oh, and this, this is why we've got to get off shit book. Look at this. You can't share this. Veteranstudy.com. Your post couldn't be shared because the link goes against our community standards, which means if you're putting anything else out there that is good for humanity, well, it's against our community standards. If you think that this doesn't go against our community standards, let us know and we'll just ignore you, they may have said. Brand new, off, fr hot off the press this, claim Germany's Deutsche Bank has reportedly filed for bankruptcy. There are rumours coming out of Germany this afternoon that Deutsche Bank has allegedly filed bankruptcy. As yet, this is not confirmed. If this did in fact take place, prepare for economic upheaval the likes of which the world has never seen. Yeah. Tory Peer says people, poor people use food banks because they can't cook. Well, let's just think about that. If that was even true, which of course it's not, the reason people co couldn't cook was because they're not taught it in schools because the cooking lessons have been cancelled because you don't want them to be able to cook. But apart from that, you're a utter twat and a wanker. A Conservative member of the House of Lords has stated that poor people don't know how to cook and use food banks as a result. Uh, you stupid moron. They get stuff from the food banks and then they cook it. You utter... Speaking at the launch of an all-party parliamentary inquiry into hunger, Baroness Jenkin said, We have lost our cooking skills. Poor people don't know how to cook. I had a large bowl of porridge today which cost 4p. A large bowl of sugar cereals will cost you 25p. Why do we allow these idiots in positions of power? Review after Met Officer's son walked free after killing two in drug driving crash. Max Copy, 18, had smoked one and a half joints of weed before he got behind the wheel. Right, well, that's sort of bullshit because weed isn't a drug. The words of the teenager who escaped jail despite killing two men while driving high on cannabis are now be being reviewed by police. Well, I think that's... I don't think that's real. It's just bullshit, that is. Max Coopy, 18, the son of a Metropolitan Police Sergeant. This is where it gets a little bit sticky. Previously confessed to smoking one and a half joints of weed before getting behind the wheel of his dad's Audi A5 sports car last August. He then ploughed straight into John Shackle, Shackley, 61, and Jason Immy, 48, as they crossed the road near the village of Sunninghill, Berkshire, killing them instantly. Well, it, it shouldn't matter what you've drunk or smoked. If you're killing someone, then you've got to be at least charged with manslaughter. But the fact that, because uh, suggestion is that because he's a cop, a cop's son, he walks. Sad, but it's probably true. Empty half the earth of its humans. It's the only way to save the planet. <clears throat> Sight is supported by 
the Rockefeller Foundation. Well, what a shock. Not. Kim Stanley Robinson. Obviously, he's a Rothschild Rockefeller puppet. There are now twice as many people as 50 years ago, but as E.O. Wilson has argued, they can all survive in cities. Yeah, in, in prison cities. Discussing cities is like talking about the knots in a net. They're crucial, but they're only one part of the larger story of the net and what it's supposed to do. It makes little sense to talk about knots in isolation when it's the net that matters. There you go, they're telling you you're going to get caught in a net if you live in cities. Cities are part of the system we've invented to keep people alive on Earth. People tend to like cities and have been congregating in them ever since the in Invention of agriculture 10,000 or so years ago. Well, we can't believe that f f uh, statistic for a start because all history is a lie. That's why we call it civilization. It's anything but civilized. This origin, origin story underlines how agriculture made cities possible by providing enough food to feed a, set, a, a settled crowd on a regular basis. Well, this is bullshit because everyone I know wants to get out of cities and have their own little homestead somewhere. Cities can't work without farms, nor without watersheds that provide their water. So, as central as cities are to a modern civilization, they are only one aspect of the system. There are nearly 8 billion humans alive on the planet now, and that's a big number. More than twice as many as were alive 50 years ago. So what? We can easily support that amount. It's only the... Well, parasites that are going to feed it. And as if to um, back that up, I'm just going to read something for you here. Pop it up on screen. Here we go. Best recap in history. This is the parasites warnings of what's coming if we don't do as they say and let them rule us with an iron fist and exterminate most of us. 1966. Oil gone in 10 years. 66, 76, 86, 96, 06, 60, that's 50 odd years ago when uh, they were wrong again. 67, dire famine forecast by 90, uh, 1975. Hmm. 68, overpopulation will spread worldwide. 69, everyone will disappear in a cloud of blue steam by 1989. 1970, world will use up all its natural resources by 2000. 1970. Urban citizens will require gas masks by 1985. 1970. Nitrogen build-up will make all land unusable. 1970. Decaying pollution will kill all the fish. 1970. Killer bees. 1970. Ice age by 2000. 1970. Americans subject to water rationing by 1974 and food rationing by 1980. 1971. New ice age coming by 2020 or 2030. 1972, new ice age by 2070. 1972, oil depleted in 20 years, so that would be, ooh, 92 then. 74, space satellites show new ice age coming fast. 74, another ice age. 74, ozone depletion, a great peril in to life. 76, scientific consensus, planet cooling, famines imminent. Now, the reason that's quite interesting is because, of course, they've been pushing all this bullshit, ice age shit, famine cooling, the end of the world shit. And then, of course, in 76, we had the hottest world uh, uh, temperatures on record, which totally blew their bullshit out the store, out the water, didn't it? 77. Department of Energy sales. Oil will peak in the 90s. 78. No end in sight for 30 year cooling trend. <laughs> 1980, acid rain kills life in lakes. 1980, peak oil in 2000. 1988, it's gone up from 90 to 2000, yeah? 88, regional droughts that never happened in 90s. 88, temperatures in DC will hit record highs. 88, Maldive Islands will be underwater by 2018. They're not. 89, rising sea levels will obliterate nations in North, if nothing done by 2000. 89. New York City's West Side Highway underwater by 2019. No, it's not. 296. Peak oil by 20. See how they keep pushing it back? Peak oil by 2020. <clears throat> 2000. Children won't know what snow is. Yeah, 
No, you're wrong there as well. 2002. Famine in 10 years if we don't give up eating fish, meat and dairy. 2002. Peak oil in 2010. 2004. Britain will be Siberia by 2024. 2005. Manhattan underwater by 2015. Hmm, they even tried to blow it up in 2001 they still couldn't manage it. 2006. Super hurricanes. 2008. Arctic will be ice free by 2018. 2008. Climate Genes Genesis Al Gore predicts ice free Arctic by 2013. 2009. Climate genius Prince Charles says we have 96 months to save the world. Hmm. Wow, it just shows you the bullshit that comes out of the parasites' mouths. 2009. UK Prime Minister says 50 days to save the planet from catastrophe. 2009. Climate genius El Gore moves 2000 prediction of ice free Arctic to 2014. 2013. Arctic ice free by 2015. 2014. Only 500 days before climate chaos. 2019. Hey Greta, we need you to convince them it's real, go, really going to happen this time. And that's why you can't trust anything that is put out in the general media. And of course, mainly what we're about to get onto now, of course, the newspapers or the snooze papers. Evening Standard. Farage pushes the Tory campaign off track. Withdraw, challenge, pleads, ministers. Yeah, right. Charles, let's make a war gender free. Oh, yeah, let's push that bullshit, shall we? Independent. Well, anything but independent. And it's that afterbirth. Lib Dems must be heard in TV debate. Nobody listened to you when you left the parties and did your backstabbing thing and all because you want to, you're a traitor to the public of Britain uh, by saying you want to remain, so therefore you're going to make sure we remain, even though everyone has now had enough of it. And to be fair, the best thing to do would just be drag all the politicians out and lock them up, every single one of them, and uh, put them on minimum wage as well. You see how quickly things would change then. Um, the protests that have claimed 250 lives... Don't know where it is, doesn't seem to say. Security chiefs, number 10, must reveal Russia report. Ex-officials say documents of interference should not be blocked. Oh, they are. Let, let's, let's uh, blame the Russians for something, because we haven't blamed them for oh, a couple of years now, since the Scripple uh, false flag that we carried out from uh, Porton Down. Daily fail. Is this the end of smear tests? New procedure will let women send off swab to check for cervical cancer, avoiding ordeal of doing it, do it going to the doctors. I'm self-partnered. Harry Potter saw Emma say she's happy to be single at 29. Well, she's happy to be single because she had a uh, mess about with, uh, w w what's his name? Frankenstein or whatever his name, the, you know, the, the producer that tried to screw every woman that he possibly could. It seems to have disappeared off the radar now. Um, Frinklestein, Wrinklestein. Uh, you, you know which one I mean. Which one I mean. <laughs> Mirror. Carol, my 10 favourite moments from Pride of Britain. Dear, oh dear. There's absolutely nothing in these shit sheets. Why anybody wastes a penny on them? I have no idea. The end of smear testing. DIY home urine sample kit to revolutionise cervical cancer screening. <clears throat> the Times. Home kit signals su end of cervical smear tests. Labour's four day week to cost taxpayers 17 billion. Public sector wage bill could rise under radical Corbyn plan. Look, at the end of the day, we don't want none of them in there. Labour, Lib Dem, Conservative, Green. It doesn't matter. Brexit, they're all a bunch of self serving toss pots. And we could do without all of them. Everything had run a lot smoother then. Mother care jobs risk. This is down the bottom there. Benefit of weekly jog. Burger boss naughty. Uh, Delhi pollution crisis. Shop direct rescue. Farrah re re retest move. Mm. Aye. New order. Sir Lindsay Hoyle ele elected by MPs as common speaker. Oh, God, another. 
NHS fact check. Rhetoric versus reality. Corbyn warns of Thatcherism on steroids. The Republic of Britain abolished the monarchy. What has happens next? Well, we lock them all up for all the dirty f stuff they've been up to. The woman who defied Alzheimer's. Patient with rare genetic mutation raises fresh hope that a cure for dementia can be found. And of course, there is one. Coconut oil. Experts believe they have identified that the gene that could protect against early onset of the disease. Research still at an early stage, but experts are excited by scientific advance that could lead to n new treatments. Well, let's just get some co coconut oil down the next, shall we? This is a rare example where the study of just one person could change me the thinking of a whole research field. How about researching coconut oil? Oh no, because the BBC did a hit piece on that, didn't they? Yeah, they're dirty filth. Anyone that's paying for a TV licence needs their head examining. Ian McKellen, some people only know me for a few gags on Graham Norton. Yeah. Not much bang for your book. Silent fireworks to please dogs and toddlers. Women hit hardest by high street job cuts. The evidence. Farage is risking Brexit. <clears throat> what Brexit? There is no Brexit. We aren't leaving. We may get a piece of paper that says you've left, but we haven't. Because as long as VAT is still there, the whole solely European tax on us all, 20% stolen from us, but on almost everything we buy, until that's gone, we ain't left. Until we're apart from the European military, we ain't left. Return of the Mountain Gorilla. The Guardian. Reese Witherspoon and Jennifer Aniston, men need to watch this show. Well, actually, I watched the first episode and it was shit, so don't waste your time. No room at the top. Why do boardrooms still look so white? PM accused of cover-up over report on Russian meddling in UK politics. The only meddling in UK politics comes from the bankers. Delhi crisis, the city should be shut down. Speaker Hoyle promises humour and quiet words. So does he get that as well as his MP's uh, theft money as well? Probably. So probably another, however, I think it's 40 grand. The guy who just carries his, t t holds his tails gets paid. for Well, for that Burko twat. Telegraph. Or tell lie graph. Post-union plotting to wreck election. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New voice of the commons. Yeah, same as the old. Corbyn would harm cause of women in work. Yeah. Aspiring drone pilots must take a theory test to fly. Oh, my God. How? What can we do? How can we rob some more money? Off? I know. Anyone that's got a drone, they've got to take a theory test. And then we'll license them as well. Or we can we can rape in, rape in all the money off those that are dumb enough to bow down to this stupidity that we allow called Parliament to just say, yeah, we're going to tax you for this, we're going to tax you for that. Oh, and you need to do this, and you need to pay us for that. Oh, and you, you, you own a property that you rent out. Well, you're going to need to get a licence, and we're going to, and that's going to cost you £700. But I digress. Private school pupils score two grades higher. McDonald's boss gets £40 million after sacking for f fling. Mother care fights to protect staff pensions. Don't give me that shit. They're not robbed all the pensions of them as well, like the Mirror did that time. Clubs press for control over VAR review. Express. How I feel vict fell victim to scam phone scam. Gary's tears over heroics of granddad. Boris challenges Labour leader over EU indecision. PM tells Corbyn, come clean on Brexit. Yeah, well, I wish you'd both come clean, but not, none of you are ever going to come clean because it's already a done deal and you're pushing it back and back and back, like I said, you do all the time. Pride of Carol, my joy at hosting Britain's most heartwarming TV awards. Metro. Holmes and Watson on the milestone birthdays. OK. Mac and Fra Fired. British McDonald's boss axed over a fear as company... HR chief departs. 
HR, human resources, because that's all we are to the, the scumbags, is resources. Hoyle is elected speaker. Tequila surprise for Liam. 60 seconds with David Morrissey. Hmm. The scum. Dolly, why I back son's book for schools. The bum powder clot. Don't try this at home. Warning over Joker, lit firework prank. And then you wonder why they think we are idiots when you've got idiots like this sticking a rocket up his ass. Gee. Six million for sacked Big Mac bo Brit boss. Great, when you get sacked, you still get six million, innit? Utter waste of paper. Corey Roy in Goth Shocker. Don't miss tonight at 8pm on ITV. Won't be watching that. Even if I watch TV, I still wouldn't be watching that crap. We have ways of making you laugh. German TV calls in crack brick comedy team. Riddle of dying Maradona. Well, he's overdrugged himself, hasn't he? Red face Liam, soft porn vid. Well, there's absolutely nothing in the shit sheets, is there? Financial Times, cheer filled, oil wins speaker vote. Yeah, <clears throat> they don't talk about the one behind the speaker, you know, do they? Soft bank to loosen grip of startup funder, funders after we work debacle. Governance overhaul rules to cover new investment changes to broad makeup. Broad, I don't know. Audi shake up spurs unprecedented level of demand for mid tier firms. And finally, <clears throat> I'm always forced to do shit I'm not qualified for, like being nice to effing idiots. Went swimming today, took a pee in the deep end, lifeguard noticed, blew his effing whistle so loud I almost fell in. When Batman gets married. <laughs> <laughs> 